Oxide daisies are one of the must-have cottage garden plants to allow to colonate your borders to give you this wonderful sunny display in the end of May each year. I know they're a weed but just look at them. Easy to grow, self-seeding, self-supporting and dense in the flower canopy that they provide for absolutely no cost. In front of the conservatory here they're running through these catmints, foxgloves, see a hollyhock struggling through but the real showstopper has to be the oxide daisies. Absolutely beautiful. The long effect looking back down that border into the evening sunlight is just spectacular. And they're starting to be the wow in this border, picking up where the aquilegia is just about finishing now and bridging that gap between the early spring flowers and the hollyhocks, which are yet to break colour into their buds and won't do probably for another two to three weeks in this position. These grow so well mixed in with these other cottage flowers and stand beautifully even in this quite shady east facing border. What do you think of the oxide daisies Ted? Not a lot do you? No. Couldn't give a monkey's about flowers could you? But it is worthwhile pointing out that this border is in the dog yard here at the farm <coughs> and stands up to the regular intrusion of two Vimaranas, a Spaniel and a couple of Poodles. The iris is on this hot border end of the barn, just about finishing now. You can see they're browning off as we deadhead those. The oxide will pick up and continue the brightness along here.